Welcome! I am the Cyber Wizard and today we're making Iros bald cap and beard. I already made the costume but I also need a bald cap because I don't want to shave off my hair. So here we have a little picture of what we want. I have some latex and some nice grey wool and we're going to start making a bald cap. We're going to start off with just marking where the bald cap will be and also where the hair will start. If you're going to use a mannequin head, make sure it's big enough to fit around your head. Most of the mannequin heads are smaller than you think. If you have a sculpture of your own head, that would be much more easier because then you have the shape of your head itself. But a mannequin head will just work fine. Now, when we're going to use the liquid latex, we're also going to go over the markings. So we can just snip off the rest when we don't need it. On top, we'll have the bald spot. Then here on the back side, we're going to put some hair. We're also going to leave a little more on top of the head to make the nice little knot. Then we have the sideburns and the little goatee in the middle of your chin. So now we're done marking everything. I also put a little red line on top to make the wrinkles in Iroh's uh, forehead. All we're doing now is more prep work. In the end, it will be easier to just put on the bald cap if you do a lot of prep work in the beginning. So a nice little trick I learned from Adam Savage is using some wire, steel wire, to put inside the beard here that will attach to your cheeks. That way you don't need spirit gum to stick it all the way to your beard and will just hold its shape and place. It's a nice trick. I'm just going to use a small round plier to just make the edges a little safer. And I'm going to go around the face to mark where the beard is going to be. As you can see here, we now have some steel wire here that's going to create a line in the latex. But since Iro has some lines in his forehead, we can just leave it there. And we're also going to add another one because he has two. For this, I'm going to use some wire. ASMR, yeah. Right. For the next part, we're going to use some liquid latex. I'm going to layer some on top of our mannequin head. We'll start off with just white. Later on, we'll color it to have a more skin-like texture. When we're brushing liquid latex, we're going over the markings. Later on, we can just snip it off with some scissors. We can lay it really thick because we're going to need multiple layers for this. Next up, a hair dryer. And we're going to heat up the latex. All right. Rinse and repeat. We're going to do this about five more times. While this is drying, I'm going to color my whole liter of latex. I'm going to use some acrylic paints to color in and try to match my skin tone. I am not a professional at this. I'm going to mix and match, trying to get as close to my skin tone as possible. I hope it will work out. Wish me good luck. Now, one thing you'll have to keep in mind, when latex dries, it dries a little darker. Now, 
I'm going to mix some brown and latex and just bring on some spots to make some bird marks and give a more natural look. I'm done with the first about 10 layers. Everything seems nice. We have a nice bald cap with little freckles on it. I'm going to let this completely dry for about 24 hours. When I'll go back, I'm going to put hair everywhere. <laughs> Our bald cap is looking pretty good. But Iro has hair. So we'll need to add some hair for this. I'm using wool, just regular sheep wool. You can get this online. Now, if you buy wool, normally it's in threads, but you can also find unspun wool. That's just a long string of wool that you'll have to yeah, spin into threads. So we're not going to do that. We're just going to snip off our wool at the right lengths. And then we'll just glue them in place with more latex. And we'll start at the bottom and we'll go up to about, yeah, here. So now that we have successfully extracted the bolt cap and the chin, I'm going to cut off the edges because now I can't hear shit. So this concludes the Iro bald cap slash beard slash wig. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one.